So the next question, integral x square into 1 minus 1 by x square dx. So what you will do first is, we will open the bracket. x square into 1 gives you x square and x square into minus 1 by x square gives you minus 1 dx. So again we will integrate this function. Integral of x square is x cube divided by 3 minus integral 1 dx. Which function has a derivative 1? x. Derivative of x is 1. So integral of 1 is x. So as the integration is over, we have to write plus c. Okay. Next one, integral ax square plus bx plus c dx. So we have to integrate term by term. There are three terms. In the first term, a is a constant. Integral of x square, which is x raised to 3 by 3. x raised to 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1. Plus in the second term, b is a constant. x means actually it is x raised to 1. So when we apply the formula of integral x raised to 1, it will be x raised to 1 plus 1, which is 2 by 2. Plus c into, c is actually, if I do it separately, integral c dx. So c is a constant. If I take the take it outside, outside the integral, I am getting c into integral 1 dx. Okay. So c into, what is integral 1 dx? x. So whenever a constant comes for integration, that constant into x will be the integral. Okay. C into x. Plus we have to write a constant of integration. That also is c. We will write a bigger c to represent constant of integration as there is already a small letter c in our question. Okay. So this is the answer. Moving to the next one. The next question is 2x square plus e raised to x dx. In the first term, 2 is a constant. Derivative of x square is x cubed by 3 plus derivative of e raised to not the derivative, sorry, integral of a raised to x is e raised to x itself plus constant of integration c. Integral of 2 is a constant, integral of x square is x cubed by 3, integral of e raised to x is e raised to x itself plus constant of integration c. Again, the next one, integral root x minus 1 by root x the whole square dx. We can do it in two methods. The easiest way is just to apply the formula a minus b the whole square. After that we can integrate. So if I apply the formula a square, a square is root x square x minus 2ab will be 2 into root x into 1 by root x plus b square. b square will be 1 by root x the whole square which gives you 1 by x dx and integrate term by term. So integral of x is x square by 2. Second term, root x gets cancelled, giving you the term as 2, minus 2. Minus 2 into, I told it before also, when a constant alone comes, it will be, if it was c, cx. So here the constant only is there in the integral. So the integral will be 2x. Okay, again the last one is 1 by x. Which function's derivative is 1 by x? That is log x so plus log x. Since the integration is over, plus c. Okay. Moving to the next question, integral x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square dx. What you have to do is, separately for each term divide with x square. The first term is x cube by x square which gives you x. Second term is 5x square by x square. x square get cancelled giving you 5. And in the last term it is minus 4 by x square dx. Okay, this is equal to integral x plus 5 minus 4 into x square is there in the denominator. If I want to take it to the numerator, I will get x raised to minus 2. 2 the power positive is in the denominator. If I want to take it to the numerator, the power become negative dx. This is the function. Again, integrate. Integral of x is x square divided by 2. x is actually x raised to 1. So, x raised to 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Plus 5 is again a constant. It integral will be that constant into x minus 4 into. What about the integral of this function? This is of the form x raised to n. Isn't it? x raised to n. What is the integral of x raised to n? x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. Okay, x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So here it is x raised to minus 2. So what we will get? x raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. No change whether it is negative or positive. We can apply the same formula plus constant of integration. Again, it will be x square by 2 plus 5x. Here, minus 2 plus 1 will be negative 1. Negative 4 into negative 1 will give you plus 4. And here also, negative 2 plus 1 will give you minus x. So, x raised to minus 1 
plus c. If you want, you can write x raised to minus 1 as 1 by x. Otherwise also it's okay. So the answer is x square by 2 plus 5x plus 4 into x raised to minus 1 plus c.